Should have been 22 at the time. And that's the sort of game that will give her a lot more confidence. Caught the cheers in the throats of the partisan spectators in Austin. Makes the backhand count on that occasion, though. She won her appeal. It's Collins left with one. First serve makes all the difference for Magdalena Freck. Well, it's an unorthodox way to hold. Only the second of the match. Super work from Daniel Collins. How on earth the return crept over the net from Freck. Dational get there from Collins. Excellent racket control. And Collins showing no mercy now and maybe racing towards the finishing line in this first set. Good defence from Freck, but not good enough to stop the Collins backhand. It sets up a fourth set Seven point. Six. She's missed it. One more shot. Magdalena Freck obeyed the old adage. And Danielle Collins made another mistake. And her dreadful run of form continues in the opening set that she should have seen off long since. Four opportunities wasted, and Freck snatches it on the breaker. 8 6. And makes the winner. Yeah, Collins does back up the break. Stadium court as well, where Robin Montgomery is serving for the second set against Coco van der Wey. Yeah, oh, beautiful make from Collins. Yeah, what a winner down the line. Lovely drive. Deciding set two here on stadium court. Danielle Collins, out of sorts after losing the first set on the tiebreak, has hit back decisively to level matters with a much more convincing second set that she takes by six games to two. Did well, had a lot of ground to make up. It was risky. The statement hole really dominant throughout, good serving. Yeah. It's clipped the line. Danielle Collins advances after an almighty struggle in a match that again reaches the two hour 30 mark. But the number four seed shaky at times after recent poor form gets a vital victory the home crowd are happy in austin texas a three-hour marathon with a 6-4 victory in the third gets just her second victory in six matches on tour